Conrad Commander, the term for which you and your subordinate officers were elected will terminate upon the date of installation of the department commander. I've been selected by the commander and elect in accordance with national bylaws to install your newly elected officers. Have the officers for the ensuing year been duly elected? They have. Comrade Adjutant, do you have on file proof of eligibility for all officers to be installed during this installation? Comrade Commander, do you, do you have the charter in your possession? I have. You will now surrender the gavel to me. Comrade Commander, your duties as presiding officer of this post will terminate following the department convention. It is proper to remind you that when you assume the chair of the past commander, it will be your duty to assist your successor with all the counsel and experience you have gained during your term of office. I now invite you to assist me in the installation ceremonies by presenting the altar, presenting at the altar of the officer's elect. All incoming officers could uh, please stand. Whatever the phone that is, could you please turn it off? Honor as a true comrade. 
that one? For those of you who are able, please stand. Uncover. Let us pray. Almighty God, uh, Almighty God, our God, the divine protector, give thy blessings upon these, our, men, our comrades, who now become fellow officers. We beseech thee, O Lord, who art ever present amongst us, grant wisdom unto them, so that in their deliberations they continue the faith of thee, our glorious country, and the better of our and the be and to better our organization. May thy strength sustain them. May thy power preserve them. May thy hand protect them in the faithful and fruitful performance of their duties. Amen. Amen. Cover. Please be seated. Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States, 
I proclaim your officers duly and assault for this ensuing year. Thank you.
they asked a lot of questions and the commander was firing on all cylinders. Okay. I was very impressed. Thank you. You know, we have, BFW has been the most uh, passionate uh, organization in leading the way. When I had a petition, uh, 50,000 people signed it in two months. 12,000 of those were BFW members. 10,000 American Legion, 6,000 DAV, and a whole bunch of other people. But when I went to Washington, D.C., and begged for support, BFW said, let's see what we can do for you. And they made it one of the national priorities of BFW for 2019, 2020, and 2021. And so uh, I thank you very much, BFW, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, this Saturday, like uh, Comrade uh, Reggie said, uh, is the District 16 event uh, at Benicia. Uh, on First Street. One of the things I have asked is that we do a something for Vietnam veterans in Benicia because we want to recruit more people in BFW. Hopefully we can get 70 people to join up like Commander Reggie said. Uh, I will have some Vietnam veteran lapel pins available. I would like to publicize it in the newspaper this week so that people in Benicia can come to our event. The BFW National Commander says the average age of BFW members is 69 years old. And according to the VA, 530 Vietnam veterans go to heaven every day. That's why we need more new blood coming in, that's our soul operation and doing freedom operation, racket freedom. Anyway, Thank you for letting me speak for two hours. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Sir. And uh, he deserves a lot of out accolades. Uh, for five years, he went through the process to bring this cemetery to fruition with the VA. And it's been many trips and so forth. I look forward to the VA and the VFW recognizing him. Uh, it seems to be that uh, we stand tall for 
Some people were buried there between 1875 and 1927. 1921. That was the last burial there. And some of the people there, there's three Medal of Honor winners, and also uh, Betsy Ross's Francis Scott Key. Scott Key's daughter. daughter. Scott Key's daughter. Yeah. So there's quite a bit of history there. We accept the history. We thank you. You and Captain Barrett, U.S. Navy, fantastic job. You guys stayed on it like a dog looking for a bone. I heard that saying the other day. But we appreciate that. And thank you. Any more? Anybody else for good or the order? Mary? All right. Mary Russell, please. Yes. So I am. Good evening. I'm making an appeal. Good evening. I'm making an appeal to all of you. If you all have spouses who are members of the auxiliary, please let them know that we need their help to keep auxiliary 1123 active. If you have children, if you have grandchildren, nieces, nephews, they are eligible to be members of the auxiliary. It is imperative that we keep Auxiliary 1123 alive. I have membership applications here. If you would like to take a membership application home, please encourage all who love, who love you and all you love to become an active member of the Auxiliary so that we can continue to keep uh, 1123 alive. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. I hope that uh, your auxiliary can go back to the uh, pot luck uh, processes that we had for a couple of years before all this COVID dispelled us. And I hope that you can sometime slot that back in prior to our meetings. It was a great thing, and you can count me in for three pizzas. Okay. Okay. Anybody else have anything good in the order? Okay, we'll move now on to our closing prayer, please. Please stand. Yeah. Uncover. Almighty God, the hour has come when we must part. We commit ourselves to thy care. Who aren't our strong tower of defense and our protection? Grant that in life's battles we may be strong and brave, living such lives of stainless integrity that shall reflect honor upon our country and the veterans of foreign wars in the United States, and glorify thy great and holy name. May thy good providence, providence shield us from all harm. Watch over those who even now guard the gates of freedom and bring us together again in true comradeship and peace. Amen. Amen. Covered. Please remain standing.
stand by. We'll break out some cake plates. Okay. Shouldn't take us a couple minutes to do it.